Hi everyone, Amy Love here with a much requested and long overdue tutorial. I had shared a few months ago like some little snippet roll spool charms that I created and um, this is a version of those but without the sewn snippet base because I kind of wanted it I wanted to make it more simple and easier for everybody to do. And now I am no great charm maker, so, you know, it is what it is, but still completely cute, dangling off the side of a journal or off your key ring or whatever. And it does have um, inspirational um, little words hanging off the bottom and also inside the spool, which I thought is so cute. You are enough. So these are so cute. They're fun to make and they're just adorable. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, we're going to start with some tiny wooden spools. These are so cute. I love crafting with these. And then you're going to need um, two strips of fabric or ribbon to fit around your spool. You need one for the outside and one for the inside. So I'm just using a strip of muslin for the inside. And then I'm gonna use these Tim Holtz phrases to go inside of mine, but you could certainly um, hand write anything you want in there or stamp it with a stamp or even print out on fabric, which is what I've done in the past. But today I thought, well, let's, let's try these little stickers and they work fine. So I'm kind of cutting it to the length I want. They're not, you know, very long because I don't want them too bulky on the spool. So I am gonna glue the muslin to the wrong side of that ribbon with some fabric glue. I'm actually using my Helmar craft glue, which is just like fabric glue. It's amazing and I love it. So I'm guessing that that's probably about three inches long. But I'm totally guessing, you know, measuring isn't my strong suit. <laughs> now I am just going to fit it around my spool to kind of see how much room I have for a phrase. That way I can uh, better choose what I'm going to use based on what fits. Alright, let's get out our, our word stickers, our phrase stickers. There's some good ones in here. I'm going to use uh, the white stickers for this particular project. And even though this is very sticky, as you can see, because it keeps sticking to my fingers, I'm going to go ahead and use my Helmar craft glue to adhere it uh, inside of the fabric, just so that it has a stronger hold for a longer period of time. And this works great for that. And I would let that dry before you go rolling it up. So don't do what I'm about to do because I roll it up so soon that it gets a little crinkle in it. So if you let that dry first, it works much better. But now I'm going to adhere the strip to the spool using my Helmar Craft glue. And I like to glue it almost all the way around so it has a nice strong hold on the spool. Because I want to be able to open it up and read it and close it and it stay attached. And then once the uh, word strip has dried, I'd roll it up and then you just pin it closed with a safety pin or even a bold pin with a, a pearl hanging off of it would be totally cute. Totally cute. All right, now we're gonna make the charm bits. I have this word charm here, which I did on a live, so I'll link below if you wanna see how I created the word charms. And then you're just gonna need some other um, jewelry findings, some jump rings, a lobster claw, an eye pin, and some pearls. 
And I am going to use glossy accents because I love glossy accents for holding uh, pearls together. So I leave my spool um, open when I make the charms just so that I don't make it upside down. So I want to be able to see which way the letters are facing so that I don't put it together upside down because I have done that before, so it's a thing. So I like to put a bigger pearl on top with the eye of the pin on the top because it's, you know, already so pretty. When I make the loops, they are not nice and not pretty, so I like to keep those towards the bottom. So now, I'm sorry I get out of frame here, but I'm just adding on uh, the pearls to the top and bottom. And then I'm going to use my glossy accents in between each pearl to kind of glue them all together. And I had been making a few of these today and I hadn't had any issue, but of course when you go to video is when things are gonna happen. So um, not only am I out of frame, but I also struggle <laughs> with making the loop at the end of this pin. For some reason, I mean, I'm not good at it anyway, but for whatever reason this time, oh, I had a time. So that's what I'm doing um, in, the, in the wings there as I am really trying to make a loop at the bottom of this pin and the pin says, no, I don't wanna do that. So eventually I get it <laughs> and we can move on. So I'm just going to use the big jump rings to attach the lobster claw to the top and the word charm to the bottom. And then I will just roll it up closed and add my safety pin and it's ready to go. I mean, it's pretty simple and they're just so super cute. They're fun, right? Also, please, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And please, if you give it a, sh a try, please share some photos. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.